happy Sunday to you. Thank you so much for joining us for Awareness. I'm your host, Billie Jean Shaw. Today we are highlighting black excellence in the classroom and our guest today exudes just that with a little black boy joy sprinkled on top. I want to show you some interesting statistics. They show that black males, they actually have the lowest graduation rates in high school among any other population in the country and the graduate rate and the graduation rate for black male students nationwide are 59 percent. But there's a drear high school senior who is working to change that. Benjamin Brown has made history by becoming one of the first quadruple career and technical education students of the year. And he's also Richland School District 1's first quadruple student who's a boy to win career and technical education student of the year. Uh, this is just a snapshot of all of his achievements and more are on the way and we're going to get right into that. So congratulations to Benjamin Brown. We're so happy to have you on awareness today, yeah. Benjamin. Thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Excited. Very excited. Uh, yes. Listen, you do a lot. So thank you for squeezing yeah. us into oh, your yeah, schedule. I want to start off first by recognizing that you are just a scholar in the classroom. What's your GPA? Um, 4.3. A 4.3. 4 yeah, 4 3. Well, I didn't even know you can get over a 4.0. <laughs> so <laughs> you are working really hard. Um, you heard the statistics, right? We know that sometimes when it comes to uh, black boys performing well in, in grade school, in, in high school, the statistics show that that's not favorable, but you are beating the odds. I want you to tell everyone uh, what you're involved in and why education is so important to you. Okay, well, education is important to me. Um, I come from a family where we didn't have many college graduates. Um, it was only my mom, my dad, and my grandma that went to college in my family. Then my um, late uncle, he also went to college. So just trying to set the path for, like, my kids and their kids, just the next generation to um, show how important education is, where it can take you in this world. That's so awesome. So I want to talk about some of your achievements, uh, holding membership and leadership positions in several organizations, including the National Honor Society, the National Technical Honor Society, uh, the Key Club, the Beta Club, all of that. How do you balance keeping your grades up, but also being involved in uh, these school organizations? How do you balance that and how does it help you? Hey, well, sometimes I do slack off. I'm human, I'm not perfect. But yeah, <laughs> right. sometimes I do slack off, but most of the times I just keep what I need to do for the week or certain days inside of Google Calendar. That helps a lot. And how would you say these leadership skills help build the character that you have today when it comes to just making those dreams come true? And as you say, you wanting to set that pretense for your future family as well to achieve academically. Um, I got a lot of my leadership skills from my mom as well as 4-H mm -hmm. and ROCC, so just carrying those values that I've learned, leadership, compassion, responsibility, those values um, throughout my day-to-day -day life definitely make um, any challenges or obstacles or just being busy a whole lot easier because I'm able to navigate it and organize it into what I need to get done. Very important. And Benjamin, this time last year, you were being honored by the South Carolina House of Representatives for being the only scholar from our state from a pool of 20,000 people, 20,000 <laughs> yeah. applicants, right, yeah. to attend the Disney Dreamers Academy, a prestigious program. For those who are not familiar with Disney Dreamers and that academy, what is it all about and how honored were you that you were the one that was the standout amongst thousands of people. Yeah, very honored. Um, I actually applied for the 2022 class. I didn't get in, but I had inspiration for my mom to um, reapply, and mm -hmm. then I ended up getting in. So it was very exciting going down there to Orlando, getting to connect with um, 99 other teens, as well as dive more into like the STEM field, medicine field, as well as like gain some inspiration, get to hear from celebrities like Marseille Martin, Halle Bailey, just like having that wow. inspiration and like fueling you up to um, go and accomplish your dreams in life. It Tell us a little bit more about the Academy and what the program is all about for people who may not be familiar okay, with so it. Okay, so it's about a week-long program in Orlando, sort of like a little vacation, if you will, but mm -hmm. you get to hear from different celebrities. Um, it was started by Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey might make an appearance here and there, yeah. but you get to um, dive into workshops, connect with other teens mm -hmm. about your passions, what you want to do later in life. So we had, um, like for example, the year I went, we had like future rappers, future soccer players, lawyers, this, that, and the third. So that the Disney Dreamers Academy really helps to like bring that out in you to chase after what you want to do in life. Just some more like added inspiration on the side. But well, we're gonna pause right there, Benjamin. We are not done giving you your flowers <laughs> and letting our viewers know all about your your brilliant mind because you are 
tackling and, and achieving in the classroom, outside of the classroom, but you're also a published author. And how old are you? I'm 17. You're 17 yeah. years old, and you have so <laughs> much under your belt already. When we return, we're going to check in with Benjamin, and we're going to learn more about his book that he published, The Day Dennis Lost His Who. We'll be right back.